by potential. Um, we're gonna see what Hunter Life Esports wanna take themselves. There's the Yone. Yep, Yone for Zeka. In the first three picks, I wasn't so convinced. So if you took Brown on four, it wouldn't have been sold. Oh my god. You now have a Nautilus Redactin just to hit. Oh, fiddlesticks! Okay, well that's a different one. Um, Peanut just demonstrating that he does indeed um, still attend the kitchen at some uh, points in time. So, uh, but let's dive in, dive in. Let's see whether Hummer Life Esports can make this fiddlesticks work or whether KT Rolster can actually fight back. Let's jump into the rift. I, know. I can see that. I'm, I'm sitting next to you. I can see he is, in fact, on the edge of the seat. But let's first address some of these lanes and how things are going to go. Uh, I've done that before, though, and it was always pretty disappointing. Is okay, Zeka taking a lot of damage. Pyoshik here in the nick of time. Flash out from Zeka. Rocket goes wide. Peanut. Yeah, the uh, cannon is hook going to connect onto Delight. Let's see whether he has to use the Unbreakable Will. There's the knockup, and he does use it. Ultimate comes out from Death. Unbreakable Will still running for now, but the Strangle Thorns. That's going to help lock this one down. And in comes Peanut. There's the Crow Storm. Barrel going to be taken down first, so they return the favor. Going to be considered here by Hummel Life Esports. Three already picked up by KT, so wanting to return that one is okay. Barrel once again going to get caught out and will just explode. Dorant takes a trip over the rocks and he's flashing forward. Doesn't find the Impale. The knockup comes in and now perfect! He flashes in, he's got the Dominus running, slides and dies and in dead! As now Viper is gonna turn it, he finds the volley onto three members, the blast cone to try and negate the aggression, and Viper says, nah man, still gonna kill you, finds the volley from behind the wall. And Arrow will connect onto Deft, he doesn't have a cleanse for that one, and he will just be wiped out. What is it, 12 and a half minutes as Beryl is going to at least get one back. Good. Meanwhile, in live, Earth lies on the ground. I, I, I didn't even process the fact that uh, Perf died there towards the top side. We're going to have a look at this one more time. BDD is just 1v1. He's also providing Warwick a new skin. It's actually a very old skin. Yeah, and now Perfect at 2. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, and here, the joys of playing into Skarner. Special delivery. Yeah. Well, some plants now in the pit. Hummer Life Esports do manage to take down the Rift Herald. Stranglethorns does a fair bit of work. Interrupts the headbutt, in fact, as Delight. I don't know whether he's going to be able to get out of this one. And the anchor connecting should be able to spell the end of him. Does have flash. Oh. Will flash the wall. He has about, yeah, 50 health. He'll just walk away. It's cold as ice, man. Yeah. We'll have to play a whole lot more carefully now. It's not the same advantage that they had at this point in the last game, but it is similar. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, it's a bit of a face check situation here. Crowstorm does come on out. There's the ulti! They don't want just one, but maybe it's a bridge too far. Never mind, he's fine. He's uh, able to get just rebound and totally sorted. BDD, that was optimistic I at fastest. Did, did. Viper is in the river! No, not again! And he's okay. flashing a wall. Jeff says, not this time! Yeah. <laughs> Like all of the all of the games, in their own ways, have been weird. As uh, Deft's going to try and get out of there, he's not going to be able to. As Zeka is just going to execute him. Right. Yeah. But it did make him pay. Oh, oh no. Koshik thought that maybe he could go to the jungle, and I don't know whether that was something that, in fact, he could do. As at least he gets the Merc Wolf. And that's an Impale onto BDD. He's also going to be sacrificed. You know, in some way, I think it's just because it's KT on Life Esports instead. But it's and maybe, maybe for four series in a row. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, Beryl is going to find himself a hook here. Doran going to get knocked around a little bit. Deft coming on over, wants to be able to grab himself a kill. But uh, Doran still has 50% of his health bar. Yeah, he's... To lock this one down, it is another Ocean Drake this time, as the arrow will connect onto Pyoshik. That's a pretty powerful one, as Beryl just going to try and play Bodyguard, not able to interrupt. The Crow Storm as Peanut takes down the Zyra. Deft just wanting to try and do some damage in this instance, but it is a bloodbath, and it is all KT's blood on the ground. Perfect just trying to clear out the wave because that's all he really has left. Viper going to be gifted a triple kill after that one. Not even. And the if uh, they aren't able to turn this one around, as Delight was not the one they were really going to aim for. This time, Death is going to make his way out. Kyoshi going to get impaled. Does manage to get the Strangle Thorns down, but it does absolutely nothing. As Extendo Beam will try to deter Harmalife Esports from going for the dive. Is what? 
a lot of damage there from Zek. I don't know why I was he that surprised. He is weirdly fed. He is, he is three Mega levels fed. up on BDD. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, a very large Yone. As now the rest of Hummel Life going to be able to break down this inhibitor turret in the mid lane. Peanut does have Crow Storm at the ready. And look to dive in on top of KT. Is, yeah. Uh, he's not very tanky, is perfect, unfortunately. Does throw down the Dominus here. There's the Crow Storm. Dives on top of Beryl. He's going to flash out. Deft makes his way out as well. Still has his flash up and available. But Hummel Life Esports still have more than 50% on everyone as they take down their second inhibitor of the game. And it is back-to-back -back stomps today. What is this? We wanted to have some lore time, some discussion time, but instead, it is just brutality here. First from Genji, now from Hummel Life Esports. As Doran's throwing rocks around, they're looking to take their first Nexus turret of the game. Look, gonna go wide there. Optimistic from Beryl. Yeah, Scarlet Poke doing so much better. Yeah, oh. there's a the flash forward. Deft. He's able to make his way out. Utilizes the flash to do so, but now the Nexus is exposed. Arrow will connect onto the Zyra, as now they're looking to try and pad some stats. Ulti comes through from Zekka, but that Fountain still does some damage. Can they get some kills? They cannot. Not before the Nexus is eliminated. And Hummel Life Esports, man. And for Hummel Life Esports to wing so convincingly, really just cementing them as one of the top contenders.